When you are first getting started within the Summer Youth Enrichment Program database system, you will get an email. This email is generated by the Office of Human Resources Management as they are the administrators of the system. Once you receive your email, and the text may vary, but at the very end you will see a link. It says update my password. This is the same whether you are a supervisor or a youth participant. However, internal supervisors have a completely different login mechanism. Once you click the update my password button, you will be brought to this change password screen. You are then able to enter your password. And make sure you confirm it. Once you have decided on the password that you would like to use, you will click the change password button. Oh no, my password doesn't match. Try again. You will receive a message letting you know that your password has successfully been updated and then you can click the log into my account button. It will then bring you to the login screen. From this login screen, you will enter your username that was provided to you within the email. This user ID is generally your email address, but sometimes it's different. Now that I've entered my login information, I can click log into my account. No matter which role I am assigned in the system, whether I'm a youth or a supervisor, I will immediately be brought to the appropriate screen based on the task that I need to complete. If you're a supervisor, this is your screen. If you're a youth, you will be brought to your timesheet. Now let's say, for example, you are having trouble getting back into your account. I'm going to log out first. Let's say you tried, but you failed. You were not able to successfully enter. Let's say, for example, I went to log in and it gave me the invalid username and password error, and I forgot my password. I will click the Forgot Password link. From here, I will enter my user ID, which was found in the initial email. And then I'll click send email to reset password. And it will notify me that if this email address matches that which is in the system, I will receive a message. This lets you know that if your email address matches one that we have already in the system, then you've received an email to reset your password. This lets you know that if you have entered a valid email address that already exists in the system, that you've received an email. So check your junk mail just in case. That email will look similar to this. Please note that this request will expire in 24 hours and you will need to use the reset or forgot password button again in the event that you do not change your password within this time. You can then click update my password. And again, you're brought to the change password screen and you're able to update as necessary. If you have any further questions, there is a hotline set up for you. You can call 301-883-6200. Again, that's 301-883-6200 and welcome to the system.